My name is Teresa Carey and I'm a sailor and a writer and uh, I treat my whole life as an adventure. I've sailed the entire coastal U.S., Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, the Bahamas and Caribbean and uh, live on my sailboat and someday hopefully in 2013 I'll be sailing across the Atlantic Ocean. As a child I, I grew up sailing. When I was young my father purchased a sailboat for our family and we sailed every summer on the Great Lakes on Lake Michigan and so he and I always told stories and talked about sailing to faraway places and on going on grand adventures and we would have our own grand adventures right there in our own backyard and um, so I knew that that I would always try and I, you know and always try to go new places and explore new places. I was teaching at a boarding school in 2008 and um, I decided I would buy a boat and give that a try for a while. And talk to me about that. Mm -hmm. it, was, uh, it was definitely a spontaneous decision. I um, found the boat for sale and then four days later I owned it. And, uh, and I hadn't even seen it. So uh, it was spontaneous and it was one of those dreams that I was like, someday I'm going to do this, someday I'm going to do this. And then it just so happened that that week I was, guess I was feeling it. And I said, okay, now I'm going to do it. And um, so I bought a, a small 28 foot sailboat and I traveled on it and lived on it by myself for a couple years. I think if you're going to make a dramatic change, like for example living on a sailboat like I did, I had a lot of experience sailing and I had worked as a professional sailor and so it wasn't, um, the, the newest part to me would be actually living on this boat and trying to find work because my job actually before that was inland so I was moving to, the, moving to a place that um, I didn't have a job, that was a new thing for me, having debt was a new thing for me, I didn't have any debt prior to that. Um, so. I so the sailing part was familiar to me. Everything else was new to me. And I think if you're going to change your life dramatically like that, just be sure that you have enough experience to keep yourself and the others around you safe. <laughs> I think that that's, that's the most important part. Because sailing, if you're not prepared for it, it can be dangerous. <laughs> um, I did encounter some bad weather. There were two hurricanes while I was living on my boat that I needed to be concerned of. but. The weather reports track those so far in advance that I did my best to get out of their way and I was able to do that. Um, when I was crossing the Gulf Stream I saw 14 water spouts in one day and then when I was crossing it again I saw water spouts again but they were much smaller but the first time they were huge. <laughs> they, they were quite big and um, in fact I was sailing with Ben, my partner who was aboard his boat and he was quite a distance ahead of me, of me and he took a, pic, a photograph of my boat which looked this big in the photograph and the water spout next to it which looked that big and um, it's kind of a classic photograph now. I, I'm writing a book which is kind of related to my blog Sailing Simplicity in the Pursuit of Happiness which is obviously about sailing and my sea stories and my experience and what I learned from that experience but it's also about the simple living movement and its history and um, where it's at today and what it means to me. Well voluntary simplicity is the term given to, it's also called simple living now, but um, Richard Gregg in 1930 something wrote an article called voluntary simplicity and that's where it got the word, you know, that's where the phrase was coined and um, basically the voluntary part of it is to distinguish it from poverty. People are voluntary living, voluntarily living more simple lives, meaning living with less things and um, a less hectic life than the direction I feel that our, that our country is, has been going in for the last, you know, however, since before I was born. So, um, so I mean, simple living has encompasses a lot of, can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people, but for most people, in, especially today in the discussion of simple living today, it starts with downsizing, reducing debt, reducing your, your wants so that you can live on a modest income and then um, have more time to enjoy a creative or more fulfilling life with your family and, and different pursuits. The lesson I learned was that um, I have to continually find change and challenge in my life in order to be happy. I think if, if I was doing the same thing every day for many years in a row, then I wouldn't be happy. 
And so I have to create challenge somehow in my life. Even if I am in the same place doing the same thing for many years in a row, I can find and create challenge in that place. And, um, and challenge will, with challenge comes struggle. And even though struggle seems to be a bad thing, it's also a part of finding happiness. Because that struggle and that challenge and that whole process is the happiness.